back to SL Chennai Speaks Out Season 2. Do we truly remember and respect our national heroes? This is time for our third round. It's called Bowl Out. Over to the two teams. Yeah, uh, Mr. Subra, you said that there are statues only of politicians in uh, Chennai. I disagree because if you go to, I think it's the Nandaram Junction, you have Muthuramalinga Tevar there. He is a hero, especially in the southern districts of uh, Tamil Nadu. Agreed, maybe the majority are politicians, but then we sort of tend to live longer, unfortunately or fortunately. <laughs> but uh, Still, I think uh, it's unfair to just class, you know, club everything together. No, no. I mean, I mean, if you are, if there are 150 uh, statues of uh, politicians who have who have been in power and in, in the last uh, uh, since independence, then you you may have to search and I may, I may, may be able to find one one such. Fortunately, we have so many more politicians than heroes, so maybe that's why the proportion is like that. <laughs> <laughs> Road that was called off my father. Now, our surname Kumaramangalam is, denotes no caste, nothing. It's just the name of the village where we come from. Suddenly, one day, somebody wrote me a letter saying, please go and talk to the corporation commissioner. Do you know the, it's just called Mohan now. Now, who knows? There are hundreds of Mohans. I myself didn't even notice it. So, I don't think it has anything to do with, uh, you know, a national thing. It's just uh, Timbalian. And again, that's politics. I don't know no, why they've done see, this. For instance, Dr. Rangachari, when, you, when anybody comes to Chennai, he gets off the the Madras Central okay. Station, Chennai Central Station, you will find Dr. Rangachari's statue there. And then they have named one street in Mailapur where he lived, where he served all the, all the poor people. And, he, and it's called Ranga, it was originally called Rangachari Street. And today it is called Ranga Street. Who knows who is Ranga? Yeah? I think the who way knows? in which... Uh, I think the way in which they have done the remove the caste name is maybe wrong. They have indicated uh, that uh, yeah, the surname has been taken as a, as a caste name. But I think there is uh, nothing wrong in removing the caste because this is a society where the identity is caste and caste has done such a uh, great harm to this country. And I think that uh, good to remove the caste uh, you know, names and then to keep the first name. And I think one should be remembered by the first name. And uh, I will, I am, I am supporting, I am in favor of removing the caste names, but not to the extent of losing the identity of that person. But on the other hand, to remove all the caste names, in that way only we can become a caste neutral society. This is the desire of the society and youngsters in this country. I think I, I agree, Professor. You are very right. That is why when you write TT Krishnama, Sounds like an <laughs> abuse in Tamil, yeah. rather than anything else. It is not T.T. Krishna Manchari is not a caste name. I am sorry. It is his name. Fortunately no. or unfortunately, at that time we had this kind of names. There were not only Ramesh, Satish and Usha and Radhika and... And we are talking people. here, we are talking about a contribution made by a prominent citizen. Where the hell does the caste come in here? And how, the, uh, how are you? Is it, are you mocking? Are you mocking at, at the man? Whether they are war heroes or they are cricket heroes or whatever. If you remember them in terms of their deeds, that's what is more important. The values that they stood for, what they achieved. Not their names. Names, I mean, you made people come and go. I, right, some of them we remember. Like, for example, the Colonel pointed out, we remember Gandhi as Gandhi Giri. But you don't, I mean, before the Giri came the Gandhi, right? So, um... And whether it took Sanjay Dutt and his film to popularize it, that's not the point. The point is that even the cinema, they, even they, and they are not really, uh, with all due apologies to them, they're not really known for their discipline or their Gandhigiri, their own Gandhigiri, but they actually promoted it. There are lots of films today, popular media. You put a question to all the, the audience here, the youth, the young generation and anybody. I mean, to, to them, which the uh, uh, caste doesn't matter at all. It is basically the games played by the politicians. I mean, who cares if, uh, who, does anybody know which caste uh, Sachin Tendulkar belong? I mean, does it matter? It doesn't matter at all. It is, yeah. it is the games, it is the dirty games of the politicians for it's, it's, certain vote banks and, you know, certain, to cater to certain, uh, uh, certain it's sections of people. It's very blame the politicians. I don't know how many young girls are sitting here. Perhaps they would like caste not to matter. I'd just last, I'd like to ask them one question. How many of you are going to be married or, you know, your parents are putting pressure on you to be married? What do they do? You look for the same caste. 
uh, you know, right, wrong, indifferent, whatever. Don't tell me caste is only pushed by the politicians. In Today, look at the Khap Panchayats. They are not politicians, not at least belonging to the sort of ilk that you are talking about. Even while remembering the national heroes, be it army or uh, freedom struggle or the, you know, the present day struggles that are going on in different parts of the country, I think the surname makes a lot of difference. With the surnames, people are elevated as leaders. Yes. Without politics. surname, without surname, people are, yeah. uh, you know, pushed down and they are not remembered. They are the unsung heroes. I think this is a major area which we, I think we should discuss and take it up for our discussion. You don't respect the war heroes or, 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 for that matter, any national hero because you think in the narrow, in, in the narrow perspective of which caste did he belong, which region did he belong. For instance, can you ever have suppose? Can you uh, ever have a statue of Bhagat Singh in Tamil Nadu? No, because he doesn't belong to Tamil Nadu. You want to answer that one? Uh, unfortunately, what he says about Bhagat Singh is, uh, I don't think it's true. If you put up a statue of Bhagat Singh and actually, I mean, there is enough publicity yeah. that is done around it, people will accept it. When I spoke to the, some members of the younger generation over the couple of days after Sanjay told me that I'm on the more difficult side of this debate, uh, they told me that, look, I mean, um, unfortunately, I'm called auntie, how sad, but whatever. Uh, they said, look, auntie, if it's something that has some relevance in our lives, then yes, they are heroes to us. But you know, even you were born after the freedom struggle, you don't tell us inspiring stories like your parents told you, which is quite right. My mother used to talk to me about how Sorojini and Naidu used to sing in all those freedom rallies and Gandhi's fast. But I was not there present at it. So when I talk about this to my children, they, you know, they look blank. They would like so, to, rather like to talk, uh, about uh, ask you to tell, about, uh, tell them about Shakira's Waka Waka. <laughs> yeah, probably. The time now for another short break on SL okay. Chennai Speaks Out Season 2. When we come out of this, we, will have, we have a whole segment dedicated to the audience. It's called Third Empire. Stay tuned.